Hello everyone, welcome to another very exciting tutorial. Today we're going to build this killer kind of loading animation over here. You can see that we have a box that kind of it's sort of like walking and then we have like a walkway or a trail down there that basically uh, animates as well by translating from right to left. So let's get started. Going back to the HTML markup, I'm in Codehus Codenest Editor as always. Uh, I'm going to create a div with class container and then and I do it because I want to center the whole thing in the page uh, the next thing I want to do is I create a class box here a div with class box and then one with call which we call it walkway let's go ahead and style this uh, I want the body background to be the same white so I'm just going to say background and then I use the same hex code that I used, uh, 2A80B9. And then uh, let's start uh, styling the box itself so that we have a reference in the page. I want the box to be 40 pixel, height of 40 pixel, and then the background, I want it to be uh, white, so FFF. Um, I have to, to add this dot here so that it understands the class. Now you can see that you have the box here. By the way, if you're interested in knowing how I do have autocomplete on my CSS, if you click on these settings, you can enable this CSS autocomplete and then it suggests you uh, the sort of CSS properties. Now, to, for the box, I'm going to probably give it a border radius of 3 pixel. It's always recommended. Nothing in the world is very rigid in that sense. There's always like a rounded edge to it. Uh, then I would, uh, now that I have the box, I can style the container so that it ends up being center, right? So I can say width 70%, 70, 70 pixel. Uh, I would give it the same height of 70 pixel. Uh, I would make sure that the position of it is absolute and then I use the typical centering properties, left 50% of the page, top 50% of the page and then I use transform, uh, translate minus 50% and minus 50% so that it kind of gets centered. So our container is now centered in the page, right? And now we have the box. We need to kind of animate it, rotate it. So for that matter, I'm just going to set the position to be absolute for now. Looking good. Now I want to uh, create the, you know, these kind of boxes over here. And in order to do that, I'm going to use just one element walkway and I use pseudo elements to create the other. There, there are actually three of these small boxes, but one goes out and one comes in. So in order to style that, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going here, I create a style for my walkway itself. So I'm going to give it a width of maybe 60 pixel, uh, sorry, maybe 6 pixel since it should be small, height of 6 pixel as well. Uh, give it a background of FFF, which is white. Uh, and then I need to position it absolute and then set the top maybe to 62 pixel and then uh, what should happen here is that we should actually be able to see this walkway over here the class that we defined uh, i'm gonna just prefix it with the container so that it actually finds that within that container uh, and then there you go you can see that we have width and height of 6 pixel, and there you go. You can see that now the top is 62 pixels, and I will set the left to 52 pixel, and I soon tell you why. Uh, now, I do have one, I need two more, and in order to do and to achieve that, I'm going to use pseudo elements, right? So I'm just going to copy this, and I say before, and then one for the after right there you go so now i created uh, two more using pseudo elements of the same element but now i have to style the before and after so i would say walkway before um, and then what i need to do is set the content since it's a pseudo element to nothing i don't want to have any text on it i want to set the top to be zero and then i want to set the left to be uh, 
maybe something like 40 pixel. So now uh, you'll see what happens here. So we do have a walkway, we do have a before and a after, and we style all of them using the same styles like this, but for uh, the walkway before, so I'm just going to say container walkway since we prefix it with container, and then I do the same thing for after. I set one of them to be minus 40 pixel, the other one to be 40 pixel. So now you can see that we actually have a trail like this. Um, and the idea is that I'm going to create an animation that rotate this, but at the same time, it kind of animates these as well. So let's get started creating those animations. So I will start by the uh, walkway animation. And in order to do that, obviously, uh, let me just give more space here so that you can see it better. I'm going to create a keyframes in CSS. I will call it walkway. And then here, the only thing I want to do, I want to translate them at the end to the amount that I defined here, 40%, uh, 40 pixels. So I just say translate minus 40 um, pixel, just like that, right? And then the next, the only thing I need to do is just to animate the walkway, which is this center one. And the, the rest of these two, which are pseudo elements of this, will kind of follow up. So I'm just going to say walkway, uh, walkway or container, since I prefixed it, container walkway. And I define animation. I want it to be walkway. As I defined it here, I want it to be 0 0.5 seconds. And then uh, I want it to be, uh, I, the timing function, I'm going to use cubic bezier uh, to have a nice natural movement, uh, 0 0.7, uh, 0, 0 0.3, and 1. And I say do it infinitely, right? So now you can see that. It has this cool kind of animation, this cubic bezier. I'm going to having some tutorials later on kind of defining these uh, parameters and values. But for now, just think about it that it has this cool kind of cubic animation. Uh, it's kind of like a natural kind of movement. It's not very rigid or linear. So it's faster in the start and then uh, at the end it gets just uh, the same speed as the animation needs to be. And I set the infinite so that you can see this. The next thing I need to do is define an animation for the actual box. And that is pretty easy as well. So I define a keyframes animation called walk. And then I, the only thing I want to do is that at the end I want it to transform and then I want it to rotate 90 degrees. Right. Uh, finally, obviously, what I need to do is apply to the box. So I come here to the box and then I define animation. And then I say walk, same timing as the walkway. I use exactly the same cubic bezier uh, method for the or function for the easing of it. So 0, 0 0.3 and then 1. And I will make sure this is infinite as well. Right, so I do have an animation. I called it walk 0 0.2 cubic. I'm just going to correct this, and then it needs to be infinite. Right, um, let me see if there is something I'm missing here. I called okay, I need to actually okay, we have walk, we have the rotate, and then there you go. So as you can see, uh, it starts uh, doing this cool walk animation. Uh, the next thing we want to do, we want to kind of position this box, center it in its parent container. And the, the way to do that, I can set the margin of this box to auto, and then I can set the left to be a really big value. So minus 999999 pixel. I can use the same for... Uh, uh, I can use the same for the top, uh, or let's say right, let's start with right. And then I can do this with the top, and then I can do the same with the bottom. Uh, so if I 
do it with the button you can see that it actually starts being centered in the page but perhaps like the cooler one was just to style it on left and right we don't need those right so you can see that we have this animation but this part we don't want to see all the three options or boxes the only thing I need to do uh, and just to show you what the container looks like I'm just going to give it a background red so this is the actual container that we have created right and this box kind of is centered within this container using this margin auto and then left a big number and right a big number as well so it kind of stitches it uh, stretches it in the left and right kind of center it in the page now the next thing is just to make sure that we don't see these uh, boxes that go away of the container and to be able to do that I just need to set the overflow on this one to be hidden right now if I remove the background here you'll see that we do have this cool animation of course I can change the top of this a little bit so I can just say top 5 pixel so it can come a little bit down and you will see you can even play more with this maybe 10 pixel to kind of bring it even more down as if like it's very close to the walkway and there you go so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial you could see that something really cool like this is easily possible using just only CSS and HTML I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please like this tutorial if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you already haven't spread the word let the people know that we have this channel and we do create these cool animations. I wish you the best of luck and see you next time. Goodbye.